Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how chord symbol navigation works in MuseScore Studio 4. And by navigation, I mean while we're entering chord symbols, how we can move from one note to the next or one beat to the next to enter multiple chord symbols all in one long operation. So, to enter chord symbols in general, I'm going to click a note and then press Control K or Command K on a Mac. And I can now type chord symbols like, say, C. And if you think about how lyrics work, you press space to move to the next note. Well, space works in chord symbol mode too. If I press space, moves to the next note. Press it again, moves to the next note press it again, and the next note, and so forth. So I can enter a chord symbol here, like G. If I press space again, you'll see that unlike with lyrics, space will stop at rests, which is great because sometimes you uh, do want to put a chord symbol where there's a rest. So I can type a C here. And then if I keep pressing space, notice it is going on every single note which uh, sometimes is what you want. We're going to come back to that in a second. I can enter an F chord here. What if I want to enter a, a chord symbol in the middle of this measure? I've got just a whole note here, and I want to put, say, a C chord in the middle of the measure. Well, space will not only stop on the next note, but it stops on every beat. So now I'm on beat two, and here I am now on beat three, and I can enter a C chord there. So that is really useful. Another useful shortcut to know is if you press control plus any of the uh, duration shortcuts. So for instance, control six will, six is the shortcut for half note, control six will move kind of by the half note. So if I press control six, it now moves to the beginning of the next measure. Press control six again, and it moves to the middle of that measure. Since it's a 4-4 measure, it moves two beats ahead. So control 6 is a useful uh, um, shortcut, and I can put in another chord there, say A minor or whatever I want to put in. There's also a useful shortcut if you just want to skip to the next measure, and that is control right. Control right, or probably command right on a Mac, uh, just moves to the next measure. Control right again, the next measure. So control right is the, it does the same function it has in node input mode or in normal mode for that matter. Control right or control left are the shortcut to navigate by uh, by measure by measure. So sure enough, uh, control left you'll see moves back a measure at a time. So uh, speaking of moving backwards, another thing you might want to know is that shift plus space, for instance, will move backwards one note at a time. Shift plus any of the other shortcuts moves backwards. The final shortcut you might want to know about is semicolon. Semicolon is just a beat at a time. It'll skip all the intervening notes and if I press shift semicolon it moves backwards a beat at a time. And so it'll skip intervening uh, notes like all those sixteenths but it will allow you to enter chords mid-measure. That's the one I typically use the most because it's, it's quite useful. Most of my chords uh, that I enter are going to fall every couple of beats. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less, but semicolon is just a nice kind of one-stop shop for me personally. So those are some of the shortcuts you would want to know while entering chord symbols in uh, MuseScore Studio 4.